Let's say you need to borrow some money from me. In particular, you are going to borrow $100 for a year. So that's you, and this is me. And there's, I give you two options. So option number one is I just lend you $100. I just lend you $100. And then one year goes by. And then after the year, you would owe me $100 plus some interest. $100 plus some interest. So that's option number one. Now, option number two is a little bit interesting. Option number two, let me write this. Option, let me do it in a different color. Option, option number two, I'm going to lend you $100. So I'm going to lend you $100. But instead of a year going by, I'm going to say that one week goes by, one week goes by, and you're going to owe me the $100, the $100 plus some plus some interest. And you say, wait, wait, hold on. I needed to borrow $100 for a year. This doesn't work out. I Over here, you're only giving it for a week. And I say, OK, look, relax. You'll owe me the $100 plus interest in a week, but so that you don't have to have that money right then and there, I'm going to give you another loan. I'm going to give you a loan for that $100 plus interest. I'm going to give you a loan for that $100, $100 plus interest for the week so that you could use that money to pay me back for the first loan, and then you're going to owe me the $100 plus interest plus interest on that in another week, in another week. So now you're going to have $100, $100 plus some interest, plus some interest, plus even more interest. I'm obviously not being particularly exact, but you can see you now have interest on the interest, even more interest. And the second plan that I give you, we essentially just continue this process. After every week, if you want to if you don't have the money, I'm just going to give you another loan and I'm going to continue to do this for a year. So this process, this process is going to continue going on for an entire year. And at the end of that year, you finally, I don't know what you did, you had some type of an investment or some type of a business and you finally pay me back without taking out another loan, $100. $100 plus all accumulated interest, all, all the interest that has accumulated. Now, the question I have for you is, from my point of view, where would I want to charge more interest? So here, I've charged you a year has gone by, and you're going to pay me back $100 plus all of the interest over a year. And then in this scenario, you're going to pay, a year is going to pass by, although it seems a little bit more complex. And then at the end of the year, you're going to pay me $100 plus all of the accumulated interest over a year. So the question is, which of these, which of these should be a higher number? And to answer that question, we just have to think about in which scenario am I, am I the lender, taking on more risk, more risk? In which situation am I taking on more risk? In scenario one, a lot could happen in that year. Something might bad might happen to you. Your investment might go bad. Uh, the value of the dollar might go down. You might have a hyperinflationary environment. In this scenario right here, if anything shady were to happen at any point in time, I could cut you off. I'm not guaranteeing you that I'm going to chart I'm going to give you another loan. I'm just kind of saying, look, if you're still good for it, if you're still around, if your business still looks good, I'm going to give you another loan. If anything shady happens, I'm going to demand my money and I'm not going to give you another loan. The other thing that I have the option of doing in scenario two is adjusting the interest. I only have to set the interest for the next week, and then the week after that, and then the week after that, I can maybe, if let's say we're in an inflationary environment, or let's say the cost of money is going up, money is getting scarce, then I can charge even more interest. So viewed that way, viewed that way, in scenario one, where I don't see any money and I don't have any chance to kind of cut you off after a week or two weeks or three weeks, this is much more, this is more risk, and this right over here is less risk. And so given that, when I lend you money for a year in this context, I am going to charge you a higher interest. Let me change colors. Higher, higher interest in the situation that I'm taking on more risk. Here, assuming that you kept being good for it and I kept lend, felt I keep feeling like lending you money week after week after week, I took on less risk because I could have cut you off at any point. So here, it would be rational for me to charge you 
lower interest, lower interest, lower interest for lower risk.